Hey everybody, Blue here again. Uh, today we're going to start a series on fire. Stick with me. We're going to go over six ways that I start fires. Number one, matches. These are hurricane matches. They're waterproof, they're windproof, and matches are usually reliable depending on the brand and kind you get. Simple, quick, and easy. Number two, the Bic lighter. Flick it and it lights. The Bic lighter is if it's in the winter and it's cold, it won't work, but you can stick it under your armpit or in your pocket next to your body, let it heat up. So we all know how lighters work. Number three, my favorite, ferrocerian rod. This is my primary choice of starting fire. With these, scrape it with a striker. You can use a 90 degree off the back of your knife, uh, folding saw. Some of them even come with on strikers. Your knife blade will do it. The back of the knife, like I said, I made a custom striker. It just throws sparks off all of them. That's a little light my fire. This is one that's from Self Reliance Outfitter. This one is unbranded. I got it off eBay. Pretty much hold it down. Throw a spark onto cotton tender, flash tender. You get flame. The next one. is a magnesium bar. Pretty much what it is, it's a block of magnesium and it's already got a ferro rod on it. Pretty much what this is, this is tender and fire starter in one. This is a Coleman made in China. They're all pretty much the same. Some of them you can get higher qualities, yes, but they're more expensive. I have found these as cheap as $1.50. So pretty much what you do, you scrape this stuff off. Has all those little metal shavings on there. You can scrape those into a pile. Put that on your tender. Take your it'll flare up, catch your tender on fire. I always keep one of these in my haversack as a backup to my ferro rod on top of another backup. Always have three ways to make fire. So that was number four. Number five, flint and steel. Piece of flint rock and a piece of hardened steel. Pretty much what you do here is you got your flint striker some people call this flint and steel. This is ferrocerium rod and striker. This is actual flint and steel. Catch the spark, catch the sharp edge of the rock, throw sparks. How you catch it and do fire, get your piece of char cloth, throw it in there, hit it. There's an ember right there. I can feel the heat coming off of it. If you had that inside of a bird's nest, some flash tender, you know, your milkweed, your cattail, or your thistle. That's the way to number six, which is actually really fun, is a nine volt battery and steel wool. I take the 9 volt battery, wrap electrical tape around it. I do not store this next to each other. I do not store this anywhere near metal. Not against my knife, not against my saw, not against a striker, ferro rod, anything that can conduct electricity. You short out the battery, cause a bad day. Electrical tape comes off. You don't need the whole thing. You can use the whole thing if you want, but honestly, you just need that much. Don't 
through. Don't take it. You just touch it. Barely have to touch it at all. Literally. It's just like that. Now another quick tip on Tinder. This Tinder will be the next video we do on fire. Steel wool. Take steel wool and your ferrocerium rod. Also catches spark just like char cloth.